Hey guys, today I uh, I missed two parcels, but the postman's uh, truck was still outside, uh, so I uh, waited around for him, and uh, yeah, he managed to hand me uh, both parcels. So, uh, but um, I'm not going to be doing both today. I'm just going to do it one by one as uh, usual. And uh, these are both from uh, Collector A. These aren't PNSO figures, they come in a uh, different packaging. Right, so why don't we uh, get started and get ripped into it. Yeah, these are boxes that, that they come in from Collector A. They're like uh, folded, like quite simple, they're not like all boxy. Let's see, what do we have here? Look at that tail fan there. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow! Wow, we, we have a, a Microraptor here and it's actually a lot larger than I thought it'd be. Like, I was expecting like a, a small, uh, you know, pint-sized version like the Sinosauroptrix, but no, this is actually like three times bigger than I expected. Let me just remove this uh, tag from him here. That is a pleasant surprise, that. Look at the way he just stands up perfectly there, and that stands. Microraptor, it's a dromaeosaurid, better known as a raptors. A four winged uh, dromaeosaurid, it's got uh, short wings on both her uh, hind limbs. I mean, like, uh, that's detailed in the fossils found of it. It's one of the uh, smallest dinosaurs found, just about like, uh, just over two feet um, in length. And yeah, they did um, find uh, pigmentation uh, into it. Said it was like, you know, dark, sort of like a crow, but with like traces of iridescence, which uh, this uh, figure does uh, not show. It would have been like a bluish magpie sort of uh, iridescence, but it's okay, like, if I had a spray gun or something, I could probably, like, you know, you know, put that in. But there is, um, if you look carefully here, there's a bit of a sheen. I think they did that uh, on purpose, but for $9.99, that is one, that is one hell of a bargain. Yeah, everything's, like, well proportioned out. And it's got the little, um, you know, the infamous claws. They're not like, you know, spiked out, but that's okay, because with Microraptor, you're not focused on the claws, you're more focused on the uh, four wings. That's just nice. Yeah, these guys, uh, they've had uh, plenty of fossils found of them, like... Uh, it comes from Liaoning, China, that's um, it's, uh, around uh, 120 million years ago. It's the same region... Uh, as a Sinosauroptrix, although uh, Sinosauroptrix lived uh, earlier. Yeah, there's like volcanic um, eruptions in the area that produce fine grain, facilitating the fossilization process. Yeah, like uh, it was a heavily forested area where uh, Microraptor lived. And they're saying like, um, originally right, that these wings were not for powered flight. It probably would have like, you know, like from tree to tree, you know, it's kind of like, you know, glided. At least that was the theory, but now they're saying like, uh, it might have been capable of some basic powered flight. Come. Um, I'm not one to argue, but like, uh, them, you know, four wings are just like, you know, incredible. Yeah, there's a saying like, um, them hind limb feathers would have like restricted it on ground. And that, like, it must have been, like, mostly would have been like, you no, know, arboreal. That's a tree dwelling lifestyle, which I can, uh, go with. I mean, look at, look at the, um, four limbs there. You can, yeah, you can see them under there. You know, like, like a Hoatzin bird. Uh, they were like, um, early experimentations, you know, of, uh, like, you know, flight. Like, birds had already, like, you know, evolved, you know, just around then. So, like, this is kind of like, you know, an offshoot. I mean, it did pretty well for its environment. 
Like seeing something like that these days would be just incredible. And it just seemed like, you know, one of them like they just glide out over the trees, seeing them limbs spread with, like four wings. That's just incredible. If you managed to make it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.